swing functions in Excel. So in Excel, we can use various functions that can be applied on the string, that is the on the characters. So these functions are like len, which is used to find out the length of characters in the string, right, left to read that string from the left as well as right, mid to just read the middle characters, proper to convert that particular string in a proper format, upper and lower to change the case of that string. So first of all, we will see the len, that is len function. This Excel len function returns the length of a supplied text string. Syntax is len and we just need to pass the text of which we have to find out the len. So where the text argument is the text string that we want to find the length of. Then here in this figure, you can, we can see uh, the uh, formulas and the result are given. There are two columns like A and B. In the A column, there is a string gi given and in the B, there is a formula. While in the results table, you can see the result after uh, applying the formula, the length formula on the given string. So the test string, in the first you can see the test string. Then in the B column of uh, formulas, the function is applied is equal to len and the cell is selected. Okay, that is A1 is selected. So it will count the number of characters in that test string. Okay, so the number of characters are 11. So according to that, it will find out the number of characters in that string with the help of the length function. Next is the write function. So this write function returns a specified number of characters from the end of the supplied text string. That means it reads the that particular string from the right hand side. The syntax is write. Then two parameters are there. That is text comma num cares. This num cares option is optional argument. So this write function example is here in this the column B of this spreadsheet below shows that three examples of the Excel write function that is in original text and, and the uh, number 5, these two strings are given. Okay? In the first example, you can see the original text on which we, are, uh, we have applied the uh, function as is equal to write and the cell is selected. Simply if we are selecting the text, so it will just read the last one character from that string. If you are not providing any value, that is num cares uh, of argument for the same. Okay? In the second example, we can see original text. And the function is applied is equal to write and the cell is selected that is a2 comma 4. Okay, so this particular 4 is a num char that means it, it will just read or it will return the last 4 characters from the string. Next function is the left function. So it will read that string from the left side it returns the leftmost characters from that string syntax is left text comma num cares. This num cares is totally optional. The example is again this original text and the function is applied is equal to left and the cell is selected that is a1 which is our original text string. It will read by default the first character as we are not providing any num care how many characters it has to read. Okay, so by default it will read only one character. In the next example, it has used the a2 comma 4. That means it will read or it will return first four characters from the left hand side. Then we can also use the find function with this left function. So left is, is equal to left and then cell is selected a3 which is our original text string comma find function is used and then empty string comma a3. Okay, minus 1. So that will, it will find out, find out the A3 string in that given particular function, that is left function. Next is a mid function. So this Excel mid function returns a specified number of characters from a middle of the supplied text string. That is mid text comma start num comma num cache. So that means from where we have to start and at where we have to end. Okay, so in the example, we can see the original text is given and the function is applied is equal to mid, cell is selected, comma, from where we have to start that is a 7, then comma, 
how many characters we have to read that is a1 comma 7 comma 1 so it will read from the original text only the a as the uh, seventh character is in the given string is the a okay so it will read only one character as we are providing a sim single value as one next is the proper function so in this uh, excel proper function converts all characters in a supplied text string to a proper case okay which is uh, a standard format that is all letters that do not immediately follow another letter are set to upper case and all the other characters are lower case so syntax is proper and for that we need to specify the parameter the input text the example we can see this is a test sentence is our given string so we if we are using the proper function on that the this function is, is equal to proper and we have to select the that particular cell that is a1 so the result is we can see from that given string t has been capital then a is capital again test t is capital sentence s is capital so it has it has converted that particular input string in a proper format another three examples are in a same manner we just need to uh, keep in mind the formula for the particular functions next is a lower that means if this function will convert t string characters in a lower case so this excel lower function converts all the characters in the supply text string to a lower case so the syntax is lower and the we have to provide the parameter as our input text we can see the example the input is test in the column a there are strings given in the column b the function is applied and in the, then next in the results we can see the output of the same test and is equal to lower and a1 is our test string which is the cell of uh, that particular excel sheet then is equal to lower a1 if you are applying then we will get the result as it is already in a lower case so the result is same okay you can see the next example all characters are in a capital letters if you are applying the lower function on the same so in the results table we can see the all the characters of the string are in a lower case so that will be the result of the lower function next is the upper function so which is which will convert all the characters from the supplied text into upper case syntax is upper and we have to provide just the input string again the example we can see test is your input string we, we have to apply the function is equal to upper and we have to uh, select the cell a1 then the result will be converted as all characters in a caps lock and another uh, uh, examples also you can see all the characters are in a caps lock which we are providing it will not convert any numbers okay only the alphabets thank you